Meanwhile, President Biden and the First Lady are on their way to Hawaii right now, where they will get a first-hand look at the aftermath of those historic wildfires in Maui. The president is expected to meet with first responders and residents as he once again promises to lend a helping hand to those who have lost everything. The devastating fires have killed at least 114 people, but that number is expected to rise with 850 people still believed to be missing. ABC's Melissa Adan is live in Maui with the very latest. Melissa. Liz, a true tragedy. We've been here for nearly two weeks as tomorrow marks two weeks since this horrible devastation overtook the island of Maui. Now today we are expecting the visit of President Biden, the First Lady, and also the head of FEMA who are vowing to stay with and provide as much federal assistance for the people here in need. President Biden and the First Lady on their way to Maui to tour the damage on the ground and from the air two weeks after the devastating wildfires. Biden also playing the role of comforter in chief in Lahaina, where he is expected to meet with survivors of this tragedy and first responders hearing their stories. He's going to be able to see um, complete and utter devastation that this town had experienced. Some survivors questioning the government's response, saying they did not receive enough information as the wildfire approached. There was a lot done wrong. I don't understand the decision not to sound the alarms. Others raise concerns about fire hydrants reportedly being out of water. Does it frustrate you to think, knowing what they were going through, that they may not have been able to have water, they needed help? Yeah, certainly. I mean, when they need uh, water, that resources is so precious to us. So when they were running out, they were so disheartened. Now, 13 days after the devastating wildfire, officials say 85% of the destroyed area has been searched. Maui's mayor saying 850 people are still unaccounted for. We're putting up flyers for my father, uh, Joseph Lara. Joy Richter's father-in-law died as her family was seeking shelter from the flames in the ocean. And I saw my father-in-law face down and I started just screaming his name at the top of my lungs. A true tragedy here. Now, on top of all of those that are missing, we're talking about more than 100 people who have not survived. And also, it's about now who has been notified. There's about 11 families that have been notified, but 27 of those victims have been ID'd. The mayor explaining to us that this is going to be a process, saying that the numbers will fluctuate daily as they learn more and more the IDs of each and every single one of these victims.